It's Drew here from Drew's Crochet and if you've been following this short series of videos you know that we've just seen how to make the hot air balloon mobile for a nursery or child's bedroom and in this final video we're going to see how to make its passenger Parsley the pig. This is Parsley and although Parsley is made to stand up on his own he's really made so he can perch happily inside the basket of our hot air balloon. So when we look at parsley, you can see he's got component parts of body, four legs, head, little curly tail, and then on the head, his ears and his nose. So first of all, we're going to look at how to make his body. And it's very, very simple. Okay. So for parsley's body, we're going to make a magic ring and we're going to put five single crochets into it. That simply means that every increasing round on Parsi's body will be a multiple of five, which is quite easy really. So this will be second stitch, three, four, and five. Now we'll pull that round. So the second round is our increasing round where we want to increase in every stitch. So that means it's just simply doing two single crochets into each of the five stitches of the previous round, giving us ten stitches. Okay, this will be the second increase and number three get some more wool number four and the last increase here okay so having done that all the way around we've now got ten stitches so you might want to pull that in a bit. So for our third round, we want to increase from 10 stitches up to 15, which is quite simple. Put the stitch marker in, and we simply want to do one single crochet, followed by an increasing stitch. We want to repeat that five times in total for the round. So go again single crochet and increasing stitch like so and you want to carry on doing this as we say five times so everything is multiple of five for the body that'll be third time round fourth an increasing stitch and our final time will be one and then increase in our final stitch, bring us back around to the stitch marker. Right, so now we have 15 stitches. Round four, we are increasing our final time from 15 to 20, which is simply two single crochets followed by an increasing stitch. And we want to repeat that again five times in the round. So that will be the first sequence done. So one, two, and a repeat, sorry, and an increase, which will be the second repeat. There we go. So remember, it's just simply two single crochets followed by an increase. And you keep on doing that till you get round to the stitch marker again. And then that will be the full width of Parsi's body. Because he doesn't have to be very big, considering we want him to fit inside the basket underneath our mobile. So this is our last repeat for this round. One, two, and an increase. Okay. 
now take our stitch marker out having got 20 stitches round we want to then the next round will just be to start shaping the body so it'll just be single crochets all the way around but we want to do that for the next four rounds so rounds five to eight are going to be single crochet all the way around so we'll start off the first one here to get the stitch marker in there and when you've done those four rounds I'll meet you back here okay so having completed those four rounds we can now see the roundness of Parsi's body and what we want to do now is to start decreasing so it's simply what we've done before in reverse so we want to go from 20 stitches back down to 15 so we'll put the stitch marker in and for our we want to repeat our sequence five times in this round so it will simply be two single crochets see that one and two followed by a decreasing stitch now as you know decreasing stitch invisible decreasing stitch is simply picking up the front loops of the next two stitches and then treating them like a single crochet there Okay, so we want to repeat that four more times in this round. So that's one stitch, two single crochet, and a decreasing stitch. Okay. Because once we've finished this round, then we want to put a bit of stuffing into the body before we start closing it up even further. Uh, right, maybe that. Another decrease. And one more time. It's two single crochet and the final decrease. Okay. And then having finished that round, take out our stitch marker, you can see we've gone down to 15 stitches and this is a good time to put some stuffing in there. So it doesn't need a lot, but we want to make him nice and round. Okay. Don't feel you have to fill it totally full this time because we're not closing it down quite yet, we've got another row before them. So, just be with what you feel happy with. Okay, so thinking about the next row, we want to go from 15 down to 10. And that'll simply be a single crochet and then decreasing stitch. So let's get the hook back in. It nice and round. Put the stitch marker in and so we want to do a single crochet, single crochet followed by a decreasing stitch and as with the rest we want to repeat that five times in the whole round. This will be our second time. And single crochet, decrease, oops, single crochet, decrease, oops, and a single crochet, and our final decrease in this round. All right. So now we're back down to 10 stitches. Take out that. Now, if you want to just bolster up the stuffing a bit more, put a bit more in there, pull that out. Okay. So when we're down to the final 10 stitches, 
this round will be just decreasing in every stitch. So you might want to put that back in, you might not. It all depends what you want to do. It does tell you when to stop. So we want to just take the next two stitches and decrease. So we want to do this five times. So one. One, two, three, I'm going to take that out because it's a bit annoying. This will be the fourth decrease of our final round. And the final one, this one. Now, once we finish this, like so, now we've got a nice round body, but we want to finish that off. So simply cut the wool, pull it through. Now, if you've ever seen the invisible decrease, not invisible decrease, it's finishing off invisibly. So you want to get a needle, tapestry needle, darning needle, thread it on, like so. And now all we need to do is to pick up the outer loops of the stitches we've just created. So there's going to be five of them. Three, and four and five and you want to pull it tight not too tight but then go down the middle of it and come out of the side somewhere and you'll find that brings it in very nicely and makes it invisible now you can just weave this around the body a bit so it's not going to come out like so and then simply cut off the wool. Now that is Parsley's body and next we'll do Parsley's head. So his head is on very much the same principle as his body and as much as we're going to start off with the magic ring and put five single crochets into that ring. Okay. This will be the third one, fourth, and five. I'm going to pull that two, and the next round again, we are going to increase to ten. So that means to increase in every stitch. So it's five increases in this round. First one. Three, four, and the final one, five. Okay. Third round, just like his body, we're going to increase from 10 to 15. So that means we're going to do a single crochet. Oh, before we do that, we better put in the stitch marker. Don't want to forget that. So let's put the stitch marker in. Then the third row will be a single crochet and then an increasing stitch. And we want to repeat that four more times in this round. So that will be the second time. We want to keep on doing this till we go come around for stitch marker again. It's exactly the same as the body so far. And again. And once more. Single crochet. 
and increasing stitch. Right. Now we have 15 stitches. Next round, again, just like the body, we want to increase to 20. So that will be two single crochets, two single crochets, followed by the increasing stitch. Okay. And we want to repeat that four more times in this row, in this round, to get us back to the stitch marker again. Two, increase. And once more, that'll be the second single crochet and increase. And one more time to get us up to 20. Right now we're at the end of there. This is where it goes different than the body. We now just want to do two rounds of single crochet before we start to decrease the head again. So I'll take out my stitch marker and I'll meet you back there when I've done those two rounds. So we've just done two rounds of single crochet, that's round five and six, and we should have something looking a bit like this now. Now if you want to use safety eyes for parsley, now's the time to put them in. Obviously if you're going to be giving parsley to a child of under three, you want to be careful because of the choking hazard, but if you just want to put it in a mobile where the no one can ever reach him, then this is good. So I use five millimeter safety eyes and I put them in between rows three and four from the start. So one, two, three, between there, just put them in, put the first one in, push it in. Now having that, I like to get the other one two stitches apart. So we'll put, get see two stitches in between. And once you've got the eye in place, see that's rather lovely, then you just turn him over and put the washers on the back. Now, you're meant to put the washers on that way, but sometimes if they don't go on that way, turn them around and push them on the other way and they still stick really well and it can be easier on the thumb sometimes, but these seem to be going on quite nicely have both safety eyes in securely, you see like that, we can carry on with now decreasing. So that simply means going from 20 stitches round down to 15. So just like the body, we're going to do the next round by doing a decreasing stitch and then two single crochets. So we just take first front two loops the next two stitches. That'll be our decreasing stitch and then two single crochets. And you want to repeat that four more times all the way around till we get back to the stitch marker. Now once you've got back around here and we finished that round, now is a good time to stuff the head. Again, just like the body, don't do too much, take stitch marker out. To give him a good round head. But you can always top this up again after the next round. So there we go. A bit more. Not too much. Okay, so now we want to carry on with our decreasing rounds, which will be going from 15 down to 10. It's exactly the same as the body. So put the hook back in and for this round it's just simply going to be a decreasing stitch and then one single crochet. Like so. And you want to do that four more times until you finish the round. And when you do that I'll come back again. 
all that's left to do for this part of the head is go to the next round which is decreasing in every stitch so that's five decreases in this round get down to five stitches and then finish off like we did for the body and once we're there we'll come back and we'll do his nose now once we've got past his head finished off and it's a nice round ball we want to think about doing his nose that is really easy it's simply a magic ring with four single crochets into it let's secure it and just put four stitches in now for the next row we want to increase those to eight stitches it's not a lot more so it's our increasing round we'll just get eight stitches here you've got to remember we don't want it to overpower his face we want it to be a nice piggy nose so just increase in every stitch like so that's the first one and that's second the third one and our last stitch for this round increasing to eight stitches in total now pull that tight now all you have to do for his nose now is to go round every stitch just in the back loop only so we just want to do eight single crochets in the back loop only for this round that would be three four five six seven and our last stitch in the back loop there now that gives us a nice little snout if you can see that it's a good round figure but a nice snout so all we have to do is place that onto the front underneath Parsi's eyes and we're going to sew that onto his onto his face and that's his nose so now we've got Parsley's nose in place under his eyes we want to do his ears next so once again very easy you want to leave a little length of wool before you do a slip knot so you can sew the ear on top of the head with that now you just do a slip knot and chain four that's easy okay then the first round we want to go into the second from the hook and you want to single crochet three across one two and three okay now at this point make sure that's right we want to turn it and chain one but when we do the next row we want to miss the first stitch and just single crochet the end two stitches because we want to create a triangle effect so again turn it chain one miss the first stitch and then just single crochet one stitch at the end and that is his ear shape now cut the well, pull that through. Now what we want to do is you want to weave that end in and then when we get to past his head, you can use this end from the beginning and just sew it on top above the eyes. So about maybe two rows above. And so when that's sewn on above, you go, obviously you're gonna make another one. So we're gonna have two ears 
over each eye and then you can just fold the top of the ear over and make it look very piggy like and that is past these ears okay so once we have both ears attached and his nose we now want to think about putting a little bit of a, a nose detail on there and a happy smiley mouth so if you remember how to do this from my other videos we want to think where we're going to attach his head to his body so this is his body if you think think of him on the edge of the the basket we'll probably be putting him round about there so he'll, he'll be round there so we think that will be the place that attaches to his body so if we go in through a stitch in the middle of two stitches at the back so you don't get it on the wall but in between the wall then we want to take it through the head and come out in the nose I mean, probably there's probably that right and pull that needle through but leave a tail at the back okay so now we just want to we don't want to do a big we want a little bit of a, a nostril there and then we'll come across to this side so it just leaves a nice bit of a nostril there and then make it symmetrical if you can probably about there I would imagine and then before you pull that tight you've got to think well, we're going to make it a mouth we don't want a massive mouth but we want quite a nice smiling mouth we'll just go round follow the wool round there so we'll put it under and come out through the back of the nose we come out there maybe two in between two rows two and three there at the bottom come out bring your needle through now that should make that's his nose done now we just want a nice smiley mouth down here you don't want to make it manic perhaps three three stitches wide or maybe four it's whatever your personal preference is but when you put that in there you want to be sure to come out through the same hole that you put the needle in to begin with there so make sure that your mouth follows the wall there and as you can see we've got a nice happy smiley mouth there and the nose is done now all we need to do is go to the back tie a knot in that black wool probably do a double one mix it tight then you simply get your scissors I can't find there we go and snip it off now once that's there we have to do is push your knot in if you still got the things just make sure it goes in like that so it can't be seen from the outside and there we've got the head of parsley ready to be put onto his body when it comes to doing Parsi's legs they're all the same we start off by doing a magic ring okay secure that on and then we want to single crochet four stitches into the ring three and four okay next round it's a simple increasing round where we make four stitches into eight so we just want to increase in every stitch oh, pull that too tight didn't I? there we go so this will be the first stitch and increase This will be third increase and the last one here there now we've got well we will have in a minute this will be seven and eight so we've now we've got eight stitches and pull that nice and tight now eight is as large as we want to go for the legs so all we have to do now is do two rounds a single crochet that's all and then that will make the legs long enough we want to be able to perch onto the edge of the basket 
and two if you want it to stand up on his own. That would be three, four. So when I get back round again, and I've done two rounds, I'll get back to you. So we're back, having done two rounds, and now all that's left to do, you see we've got the beginning of the leg, you might want to put a bit of stuffing in there. I've already got the tail end of, of my wool in there, and that's filled it up quite a bit, but I think a bit more stuffing would be good, because you will be standing on these after all. So just put as much as you can in there, and push it in if you can. And now all that's left to do is a decreasing round. So that will be decrease in every stitch. It's just four decreases. That will be one. Two. three and four and that so we get that final thing there that is a parsley leg now all that's left to do is to cut the leave a bit of a tail so we can sew it onto the body cut the wool now you, you want to there's no need to finish it off because that will be the bit that actually attaches to his body. So if you've got the body here, you see we want four of those. So once you've made four, we'll come back and we'll attach everything to the body and make his tail. When it comes to putting parsley together, I think it's best to have some pins to hand. Because if you think about it, we want him to be able, you see the basket there, we want him to be able to perch on the edge of the basket. So, unceremoniously, get some pins and stick one in each of the legs so it comes out at the top in the middle. This is only so you can put them onto Parsi's body and tweak them around until you're happy with the situation with their, how they are. So if you think this is the body and he's going to go into the basket, you want to splay the legs more than you would if you were making him just to stand up, you put them straight in. But because you want him to sort of like perch a bit, splay them forward a bit. So go with that. That's his front. So that'd be that side. And perhaps there, that side. Not too much, just a nice bit. And then the same for the back. So we want to go maybe there and there. And you can see from the legs there, he'll still stand up on his own, in his own right. But if you put that in the basket, you can see he'll also perch on the edge of the basket. So that's pretty much right for where we want the legs to go. Now for the head, you want that to go on top of the body, obviously. But so he's happily there. So if you just put a few pins in there just to put it in position until you're happy with how he is. So that's his head on there. What I suggest doing is put him in the basket, which we happen to have here, and you can see he perches really happily in that basket. But before you secure those on there, make sure that the balloon goes happily above his head when he's hanging so it isn't, it all fits beautifully together. So once you're happy with where you've pinned, the various different parts of him together, just sew them in. You've got all the bits, you need a bit more wool there to sew the head on, but sew him on and then the final part will be to make his tail and put that on. So once you have Parsley the pig all sewn together, those are his legs and his head's all on, make sure he fits in his basket so we can perch beautifully in there as you can see. Now all we have to do is make his tail and that could not be more easy. It's simply make a slip knot but leave a bit of the tail so you can thread a needle on it and then just chain nine stitches. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight and nine. Now you wanna cut the wool and now simply all you have to do is roll that tail into a spiral. Just roll it like that, can you see? And it actually stays in a spiral because it's just one simple chain. Now if you want to secure it like that, simply thread your needle with the end. This is why we left a bit of it along at the beginning. So thread that onto your needle and then just simply go through the end and then up through the curl bit. So you're not totally through the middle, you get the bits of the curl and you just bring it through. Don't pull it too tight because you'll lose your curl. <laughs> there, you see? And that's secured in beautifully. You can still push it round with your finger. Just like that. But that is a beautiful curly tail. Now all that's left to do is attach that to the top of the back like that onto Parsley and that is Parsley the Pig, passenger for the hot air balloon. <laughs>